Hello and welcome to another Kangaroo English Daily Digest. My name is Christian and today is Friday, best day of the week. <laughs> um, someone, someone actually sent me a message recently and asked me, why, why do you always say that it's the best day of the week? And, um, well, well, basically, um, <laughs> like, like this morning, for example, um, I woke up and and my 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 son my wife were in bed with with me and we were just lying there and and having cuddles and it's it's moments like that when you are grateful that for the simple things you know because there are, there are other people waking up this morning in in the horrible situations you know waking up in a horrible situation because Hi. because of, <laughs> because of illness or because of um, or because of war or because of poverty or, or so many different things um, so you know it's we, we should all we should try to be thankful for for the small things um, and so yeah because uh, for example tomorrow tomorrow I'm leaving Australia uh, so this will be my final daily digest from Australia and the next one will be from from the beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur um, and so I'm a little bit sad that I'm leaving my family of course but but I'm grateful for, for the time that I had here so c'est la vie <laughs> um, okay now Pasquale um, he asked me to explain why it's called the daily digest. So digest is actually today's word of the day. Digest. Um, it comes from Latin and it's actually in two parts. It's die and jest. Okay. So die means apart. So we're taking it and we're splitting something apart. Right. Um, and the jest, it comes from the Latin verb uh, gerere or gerere or I don't know how you pronounce it. Right. Gerere. Um, which means to carry. So basically, digest literally means to carry things apart. So it kind of means to to sort them. So we're putting this here and putting this here, and that's this is this is the interesting part is that the word has two kind of opposite meanings. It's like an auto antonym because, for example, when you eat, you digest the food, right? Now your body separates the food into different nutrients and waste products and you know so it's it's separating but at the same time it's bringing all the food together so it's digest can mean to separate and to assimilate all at the same time right so a daily digest in 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 this sense in the sense of this this type of video means that I'm taking information and I'm breaking it down so that you can assimilate it into your mind. It's a bit like, um, you know, when, when, when the, the mother of the bird, she, she chews the food, you know, and then spits it into the, <laughs> she sort of partially digests the food and spits it into the baby's mouth to make it easier to digest. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so that's why it's called daily digest. Now, speaking of food and digesting, and, and speaking of mummies, like mummy birds and baby birds, I want to tell you something really interesting. So yesterday, uh, there, was a, there was a new um, piece of research published called Cake or Broccoli? Recency Biases, sorry, yes, Recency Biases, Children's Verbal Responses. So now, now English, in the English language, we have something called fronting, okay, which essentially means that if you put information like vocabulary or or, um, or sort of structures, if you put them at the beginning of your sentences, they're more important to to the to the to the um, kind of mental processing. Okay, they're more important to our cognitive understanding. So, you know, if I say that. It's a big black bag. You know, you really focus on the big, right? Because it's the first word. I'm like, wow, it's big. But if I say it's a, it's a black big bag, right? You're sort of focusing on the black. 
So that's an example. We can play with the order of adjectives to, to show what's important. So in English speaking adults, and this is also true for a lot of languages that are subject verb object and a lot of languages that are right to left. Okay, right to left languages like English or Spanish. Fronting, okay, fronting means that the information is more important, but this is only for adults. And basically what they discovered in this, in this paper is that children are the exact opposite. Children have, because they have less cognitive processing ability, they can really only focus on the last thing that they hear. And this is important because what it means is if you ask your child, do you want broccoli or cake? Then they're going to say they want cake 85% of the time. 85% of the time. But if you ask them if they want cake or broccoli, they're going to choose broccoli 85% of the time. And that's just one example. Now, it's, it's important because as an adult, if you're offering two choices to your children, you would tend to put the one that you want them to choose at the beginning. It'd be like, do you want to, do, do you want to have this beautiful, amazing telephone? Or do you want this telephone? Huh? But then the children go, I want that telephone. And you're like, damn it. But that's because as an adult, you feel like you want to put that important information at the beginning. But the child only hears this. So really you need to, if, if you want to win those little arguments, you need to swap your swap your, your sentences around and say, do you, do you want this or do you want this beautiful telephone right here? And they go, I want that one. Do you want cake or do you want broccoli? I want broccoli. Do you want to stay up and watch cartoons or do you want to go to bed? I want to go to bed. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know how, um, how effective it, it is as a general parenting tool, but it's very interesting linguistic research anyway. Um, so hopefully that's a, a, a hot tip for you for the weekend uh, when you're managing your children, if you, if you have any. So um, I hope you have a great one. Um, so I'll see you uh, from Kuala Lumpur on Monday. Have a great weekend. Go and practice some English. Go talk to some strangers. I'll see you in class. <laughs>